Did you know that what once looked like empty darkness in space has now been revealed to hide one of the most mysterious galaxies ever discovered? When astronomers pointed the Hubble Space Telescope at what looked like a boring pitch black corner of the sky, totally empty, nothing to see here, they expected, well, more of the same. But then the Webb Telescope came along, like that one friend who turns the brightness up on your phone screen and says, wait, look again. And boom, there it was, a faint, spooky red glow, like a cosmic ghost peeking out from behind a dusty curtain. What Hubble thought was nothing turned out to be Aztec E71, a galaxy so distant and mysterious it basically whispered. But Aztec E71 isn't just another pretty red dot in space. No, no. This galaxy might be one of the earliest and furthest galaxies we've ever laid eyes on. We're talking about the VIP section of the universe's baby photos, clues about how the very first galaxies were born, evolved, and maybe even through their first cosmic tantrums. So what is this elusive space rebel? Is it a regular galaxy in disguise? Or is it something entirely different, rewriting what we know about the universe? Buckle up, because we're about to zoom into the strange, fascinating life of a galaxy that almost got away unnoticed, and thank the universe we had Webb's super eyes to catch it. To get to know this mysterious galaxy, scientists had to do more than just stare at pretty space pictures. They had to measure its cosmic stats, mass, brightness, distance, and color. Kind of like building a dating profile, but for a galaxy that ghosted us 12 billion years ago. They used the Webb Telescope's near-infrared camera. Think of it as the galaxy's personal paparazzi snapping shots in multiple wavelengths to reveal secrets hidden behind clouds of space dust. With each filter, they measured how bright the galaxy appeared, which helped them figure out how far away it is, how hot or not it might be, and what it's made of. This technique is called photometry. Basically, the science of reading light like tea leaves. And what did photometry tell us? Oh boy, this galaxy is no lightweight. It's 50 billion times the mass of our sun and shines with a glow 500 trillion times brighter. That's not just overachieving, it's practically flexing in cosmic gym mirrors. This dusty diva is what astronomers call a submillimeter galaxy, basically a galaxy that likes to its brilliance through the faintest wavelengths of light, making it a real challenge to find. And it's far, like redshift 5.7 far, which means the light we're seeing today left that galaxy when the universe was just learning to walk a mere 1 billion years old, only 7% into its current lifespan. Oh, and that intense red glow? That's not a fashion choice. That's the universe stretching the poor galaxy's light across time and space thanks to cosmic expansion. It's a little faded, a little dusty, but still stealing the show. Aztec C71 isn't just red, it's extra red. Like, I just ran into my ex at the grocery store kind of red. Among thousands of galaxies cataloged in the massive Cosmos web survey, this galaxy stands out like it's blushing in embarrassment or hiding something. Turns out, it is hiding behind a ton of cosmic dust. When astronomers tried to spot it using good old Hubble or other optical telescopes, all they got was crickets. Why? Because this galaxy is so dust-choked that most of its light never makes it out in the visible or near-infrared. It's like trying to find a candle behind a curtain made of ash. But here's the twist. That dust doesn't just trap light, it transforms it. The energy gets re-released in far-infrared and sub-millimeter wavelengths, basically turning this galaxy into a cosmic glow stick. But only if you've got the right gear to see it. That's where Scuba 2 and Alma came in, picking up the faint thermal of the galaxy. Great job spotting it, but they couldn't tell us much more. The galaxy was still a mystery, wrapped in a dusty enigma. Enter Webb, the telescope that apparently came equipped with night vision goggles and a sixth sense. Using its near-infrared camera, Webb looked deep into the universe and saw what others couldn't. The galaxy's original visible light now stretched into deep red, thanks to billions of years of cosmic expansion. Finally, Aztec C-71 was ready for its close-up. And what a show it put on! Thanks to Webb's eye for detail, astronomers could finally decode the galaxy's stats, its age, how rich it is in heavy elements, and how fast it's cranking out stars. 
Turns out, it's not just a dusty wallflower. It's a massive, ancient powerhouse that's rewriting what we thought we knew about galaxy formation in the early universe. In short, Aztec C-71 is like that quiet kid in the back of the class who turns out to be a genius, and now the whole cosmos is paying attention. It completely dodged the gaze of even the most powerful optical telescopes like Hubble, yet showed up bright and clear to sub-millimeter and far-infrared observatories. So, what gives? Why was it practically invisible in visible light? To crack this mystery, we need to peek behind the cosmic curtain. Literally. The culprit? Dust. Lots and lots of it. This galaxy isn't just a little dusty, it's in the middle of a full-blown star-making frenzy, otherwise known as a starburst. And no, we're not talking about the candy. During a starburst, galaxies churn out new stars at ridiculous speeds, like hundreds or even thousands of times faster than usual. It's the universe's version of a cosmic Black Friday sale, where everyone's grabbing as many stars as they can as fast as they can. This wild party is usually set off by things like galaxy mergers, massive clouds of gas falling inward, or chaotic feedback loops from earlier star births. Now, here's where it gets interesting. These baby stars are huge, hot, and incredibly bright, blasting out tons of ultraviolet and optical light, the kind that Hubble eats for breakfast. But the same intense radiation also heats up the surrounding clouds of dust and gas. That dust acts like a thick fog, soaking up all the UV and optical light and re-radiating it in far infrared and sub-millimeter wavelengths, the kind that James Webb, Scuba 2, and Alma specialize in. So while Hubble was staring at what looked like a blank patch of sky, thinking nothing to see here, Submillimeter telescopes were catching the galaxy's re-emitted light and whispering, actually, there's something huge hiding in there. Bottom line, this galaxy is like a raging bonfire behind a smokescreen, bright, wild, and completely obscured to the naked eye. It took the right tools to finally see it for what it is, an explosive star-making machine buried under layers of cosmic dust. Imagine a galaxy so buried in cosmic dust and gas, it might as well be wearing an invisibility cloak. That's exactly what's happening with Aztec E71. It's surrounded by a thick, swirling mess of interstellar clouds, like fog at a rock concert, that blocks most of the starlight from getting out. So, when you look at it with regular optical telescopes like Hubble, you see absolutely nothing. It's the ultimate game of cosmic hide-and-seek. While that dust is busy playing defense and blocking all the ultraviolet and optical light, it's also secretly up to something else. It absorbs all that energy from the young, hot stars and re-emits it in a totally different part of the spectrum, far infrared and submillimeter wavelengths. That's basically like whispering in a frequency only the web, scuba 2, and Alma can hear. These longer, cooler wavelengths are sneaky. They can slip through the thick dust clouds like a cat through a cracked door. That's why Aztec 71 becomes visible when we look at it through the right cosmic lenses. But wait. There's another twist in this dusty drama. The universe itself is expanding. Picture it like cosmic taffy being stretched in all directions. As light travels across these growing distances, its wavelength gets stretched too. That means the light from Aztec 71, which has been traveling for billions of years, arrives on our doorstep redder than a tomato in summer. This redshift tells us just how far away the galaxy is. So, why is Aztec 71 such a rare gem? Because it's doing everything at once. It's distant, it's dusty, it's ancient, and it's erupting with new stars in a firestorm of activity. And there's a strong chance that all of this may have been set off by a galactic crash, a merger of two or more smaller galaxies. Think of it like two cosmic cities colliding. Their gas clouds smashing together, triggering a frenzy of star births, and kicking up tons of dust in the process. Violent? Yes. Messy? Definitely. Fascinating? Absolutely. And as we dig deeper into how Aztec 71 formed and evolved, we start to see how galaxies live, grow, and sometimes crash their way into greatness. Aztec 71 didn't become a cosmic heavyweight by chance. It likely took the wild road of galactic drama, or the slow burn of cosmic feasting. Let's break it down, with a bit of flair. One theory? 
This galaxy is the messy result of a full-blown galactic collision. Imagine two galaxies speeding toward each other like starry wrecking balls, slamming together in deep space. It's not pretty. It's chaotic, explosive, and absolutely magnificent. When galaxies merge, they bring along all their gas, stars, and cosmic baggage, like two families moving into one house and immediately starting a renovation project. The result? A sudden, furious burst of star-making madness. You get brand new stars popping off like champagne corks, clouds of dust everywhere, and a galaxy that just bulked up in mass and brightness almost overnight. It's the universe's version of a glow-up, with lots of interstellar drama. <laughs> But not all galaxies are drama queens. Some, like the more thoughtful, introverted Aztec 71, might take a quieter route to greatness. Gas accretion. Picture a lonely galaxy, just relaxed, minding its business, slowly sipping gas from the intergalactic medium like a never-ending space smoothie. It's not flashy, but it works. That fresh gas flows in, triggering the galaxy to light up with new stars, like turning on Christmas lights in July. And those new stars, they're not just decorative. They cook up metals and dust, thickening the galaxy's atmosphere and making it even harder to spot with regular telescopes. Meanwhile, the galaxy keeps growing, calmly stacking up mass and glowing ever brighter, like someone sneaking extra scoops of ice cream into their bowl while no one's watching. So whether Aztec 71 was born from cosmic chaos or quiet cosmic snacking, one thing's for sure. It's managed to become one of the universe's hidden giants, shrouded in dust, glowing in the infrared, and in the face of every optical telescope that ever ignored it, Aztec 71 is here to remind us that sometimes the most extraordinary things are hiding in plain sight, just buried under a few billion years of cosmic dust. The Webb Telescope just spotted a hidden galaxy at the edge of the universe, and no, it's not space dust in your eye. Smash that subscribe button before the galaxy hides again, or worse, unfriends us from the cosmos.